Today we're talking all things, stretches for neck and shoulders. Before we get going into our stretches, I want you to follow along with just some cervical range of motion. Cervical means your neck because that is your cervical spine. So for starters, let your ear fall to your shoulder. Take all of this real nice and easy. We're just warming things up here and switch to the other side for me. Coming back to neutral, you'll look over your left shoulder as far as you can and do the same thing to the other side. Look over your right shoulder as far as you're comfortable with. Coming back to neutral, you'll tuck your chin to your chest. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall so when you tuck your chin, you feel a nice stretch through your upper back. Coming back to neutral, take it easy looking all the way up at the ceiling as far as you can let your head relax back and then come back to neutral. We're starting with stretching the traps, your upper traps, your trapezius muscle. All you need to do is sit on one hand. This helps you anchor your shoulder because we want the shoulders to stay nice and low. I don't want you hunching that shoulder. So, shoulders anchored. Let your ear fall to your shoulder so your head will fall away from the side that is anchored. You should be feeling a nice stretch all through this upper trap of your shoulder area. I want you to be nice and relaxed. Just hang out there and take a really nice deep breath for me. Our goal is to hold each stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. When you're ready, come back to neutral. Release that hand and sit on the other hand. We're stretching our other trap, the other side. So if I'm stretching my left, my right ear will fall to my right shoulder. Don't forget to breathe and relax. We'll make our way back to neutral, turning your head to the right as if you're looking away from the center 45 degrees and then tuck your chin. You're looking at the pocket that's in your shirt or your hip. You can over pressure and add a stretch by letting the same arm or hand apply pressure to the back of your head. You should be feeling a nice stretch through the posterior neck, posterior shoulder. Remember to breathe, take a deep breath. Come back to neutral for me and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm looking towards my left about 45 degrees, tucking the chin. And I'll use my left arm to apply some pressure on the back of my head. This increases that stretch, so you do not have to add this piece. And breathe, of course. Gently release that pressure. Come back to neutral for scaly. We're now stretching the front of your neck. Take both of your hands, find one of your collarbones, and apply a little bit of pressure downward as you gently let your head fall back. You'll look straight up at the ceiling. You will feel a pull through the front of your neck. These muscles that we're stretching are your accessory breathing muscles. breath here. Think about breathing into that tummy, into your diaphragm. Release the tension at your collarbone. Come back to neutral for me and switch to the other side. Both hands find my right collarbone. Apply a little bit of pressure downward and I slowly let my head relax back as I look up at the ceiling and breathe here. 
breathe into that diaphragm. When you're ready, release that pressure. Come back to neutral nice and slow. If I'm stretching my right side, my right arm will be to the wall. I'm applying just a little bit of pressure. I lunge forward for balance with my left leg as my right arm is on the wall. I will keep my arm stable and stationary as I lean forward into that stretch a little bit and open my body up away from the wall, away from my arm. And you should feel a nice stretch from the front of that shoulder right in towards your sternum, opening up your chest. Just hang out and breathe. Now we're stretching the left pec minor, the left chest. So you'll find my left arm against the wall. My right leg is lunged forward for that stability. And then I will lean into my lunge and turn my body away from the stretch, away from the arm that is on the wall. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Again, you should feel that stretch right through your chest. You can hold here as long as you'd like. You can come out of the stretch when you're ready. You can comment below with whatever you'd like to see, or you can jump back to the beginning and do 